Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Tableau Tip Top today. In the visualization, in the section today, in the exercise today, um, I show you this uh, forecast function of the Tableau and, and how to use this function in what scenario, in what case, uh, this is case you use this one. If with my experience, um, I use the forecast of the Tableau uh, it quite often and uh, I see that quite uh, good, uh, in, uh, you know, quite good and, and, and accurate uh, in terms of this, you know, business with the uh, seasonality and uh, you, uh, more you have data input, it more the forecast uh, accuracy is. Um, so with the retailing or distribution model, which, which one is okay, but with these, uh, like the project with a certain industry or certain business which uh, doesn't follow um, any seasonality, uh, I think this way is maybe not a uh, good um, um, applicable. Right? So I, I share you the, the you know these uh, another way uh, in the in the, in the um, previous section you know uh, to do the forecast for the project pilot which is uh, based on these uh, winning change and also the um, hit rate of the sales is very much relied into the sales uh, competency, right? Uh, how to convince the customer. And the winning chain, we see how the preference of a customer to, to, to you is, right? Okay, so today we'll not talk about the project pilot and, and uh, you know, uh, the business doesn't follow any seasonality. Uh, today, uh, I will share, the, uh, you know, the forecast based on these um, uh, seasonalities and based on the market trend, uh, right? Okay, which is um, which is Tableau is doing very well. So, in my screen here, right, I have the sales. We see the the green one. We see the uh, actual sales, and then I want to do the forecast for the, uh, you know, uh, for the one years, and then uh, after that, I can compare with the what already happened, right? Because. Uh, in, in this series of time, I used the 2018 until uh, end of 2020. And then I do the forecast for 2021. And after that, I will compare with the actual of 2021 uh, to see how good the forecast is. And I share with you how to make the forecast even more accuracy. All right, so I will uh, remove on this one. And then I print um, into the view, the first one is order date. And I uh, change this one to the month. Um, I do the filter in order to uh, hide this 2021. Uh, applied, okay. Oof. Yeah. Hit control. Okay, I forgot to, to press the control. Okay, and here's I match it the month. Then I print sales into the view. You see the line now, okay. Um, now, I want to forecast for uh, 2021. So let's go to the analytics. Go to the forecast. And you see the tableau automatically pop up the menu here. Press drop it in, and you can see actually it's made the forecast for 2020. Uh, you know for uh, food of 2021. So let's see it how it tableau build this one. So I go to the forecast. I go to the forecast option. In here, if I select by month and then I put uh, let's say 15 months. Right? Okay. Um, in here in the um, aggregate. Uh, you can ignore the last one when it's okay, or you put zero here, that's fine. In the forecast model, we see you need to uh, uh, use your knowledge about the business and the market to put in. So, are you custom? The trend. So, there are two we see uh, additive and the uh, multiplicative, right? Um, additive is, is actually, you can see, the, the trend is almost the same this year. So, they will look, uh, Tableau will look into the paths data and then to add in uh, data, uh, use the few, the few uh, uh, parameters and, and interval um, data and then uh, to uh, add 
the sales um, uh, for the for the next 12 months so are you addicted because I see the market in the next 12 months with the COVID situation will not will not um, be in a good shape right? on the season so you again you have you have uh, two two options we see additive we see the seasonality maybe similar with the seasonality in the last couple of years or um, uh, multiplicative we see you can see the growth which is you multiply with the sum value here you know uh, we see the market grow so uh, for me again I use additive and uh, the prediction interval I use 90 percent I'm quite conversant uh, uh, so it's okay so now you can see in the next in the next 15 months we see the forecast one more thing you will look into um, the uh, describe describe um, forecast we see how tableau evaluate your forecast right so you look in here and this is smaller so you can see actually tableau put it good and how tableau put it good so if you will go to the model you can see you you look into many of these uh, the, the the matrix um, to, to measure the quality here but you look into the the one i normally look into the maze we see the means absolute uh, scaled uh, error right so we see the, the one which i think this see if this is smaller than 0 0.5 i think it, it or 0 0.4 it's going to be good if this one is more than 0 0.5 i think it, it's okay but if more than one would be we see not good with the bad um forecast uh, uh, simulation is for more further detail you can look into actually the tableau have the in the help section you they have the forecast uh, described here if you go down you can see actually maze here right you can see they describe how what formula they use and and how to measure uh, what maze uh, with a point 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 mean okay i will not go to this i leave that for you in the study so today's let's see tableau or it's say this is a good uh, um the good um forecast so let's see how it goes okay if i go to show the labels just to give you some idea right we see uh, let's say I take one month, we see, let's say I take this month, we see um, April, so the value will be 42,000. And then you can see the band here, we see uh, the value here can go up and to go down, right, in, here, right, in the forecast. Alright, so now t I want to compare the forecast with the actual already happened of 2021. So, Tableau will allow us uh, to get the data. So you just control H and you control V. We see Tableau will automatically populate another sheet um, to um, give you some data uh, what they uh, they did the, uh, what they do in the estimation here. Okay, so you can see April forty two, and it can go to the low level of. 28 low prediction or high prediction to 55 56 56.5 right so I want to compare this number with what already happened in the 2021 so let me remove this one let me exclude this one so now we have the series of data and then the sales okay let's put it in the let put it in the light chart so let's bring it cell in here so um i think this one we need to, to convert it to the uh, date all right so again we have the light so i move back to the month right? so we have from 2018 until 20 end of 2021 um in order to avoid the confusion so i changed the name here because the original uh, file they use the sales as well so i convert this one to the forecast sales okay 
I just remove this one. And then this is the file I just I just uh, copy and paste. So let me uh, let me use the name is forget. Okay. And you know, in order to put uh, um, this actual sales and then the forecast sale together, we need to use the do assist one. Right? So in order to do do assist, so first one is the date need to be the same. So let me put the date is the order date because in the simple story that the order date we see the day the, the series of the date. Right? So okay. So now. You see, it's in the uh, simple story that it automatically create the link here in order to uh, link to data file by the key is order date. If you if you want to change, uh, then you, you can you can go to data and then edit the plant data. Right so here, you can it automatically it it choose the order date. But of course, you can do the custom. Right? You can connect which one uh, which keys uh, from the super store data and then the key from the forecast data. Right. I use automatically already created here. Um, so let's bring the sales into the view. So we have a sales and let's do access and synchronize. Okay, so in the first one, in the forecast, let's uh, put the forecast in a green color. And sales to see the actual. So let's put it in this. Uh, yellow color. Okay. So here you can see at least it is the um, the forecast and the actual. Uh, the the forecast is the green and the actual is the orange so you can see the exact but actually it's it quite okay with the forecast the trend is right the number let's 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 create something to see uh, how the different, different uh, how to gap between the forecast and the actual right um one thing we can do is you reference light uh, by month and here is yes yes okay don't show value, don't show value. Um, yeah, can use the color E blue. And if I in the label, I use highlight. Show the value. It's okay when I click in, yeah. So when I click here, you can see it's actually the forecast is 41 and then the sales is 52. But if you look into the under month, you see at least the forecast is 44 and then the actual is 45. It's not too far, right? But if you look into here, it the actual is 45. The actual is 63 and then the forecast is 45. So at least it's someone is very close to the um, to the actual and someone is there to get but the trend and then the gap here and then look at the trend and the gap here it's really really acceptable really acceptable level okay okay so so it, it good another tip is it when you use the reference line here you can see it's actually um actually when you click you can you can easy to compare uh two number right um all right all right so we see so, so this is the um the exercise about the uh, forecast and again i say this is this is really good for this um for the um, distribution model or you know uh, or some uh, seasonality business uh, and uh, Tableau is it did, did very well it's very well I have to say it did very well okay um, let me let me, let me I put
print some data into the view if anything will look better no no okay so that's okay Okay, so I hope you, you enjoyed this uh, section today and, and uh, find it uh, useful for you. Um, thank you very much. And uh, if you still have any comment, just uh, put uh, uh, your comment, um, you know, into my Tableau Tip Top uh, or even in my Facebook, um, I will answer. Or if you have any better recommendation, you know, in order to do the forecast, feel free to um, put a comment as well. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.